Hello, my beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Welcome to your Zodiac reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So let's get started on your reading, Taurus. Let's get started. We're using the Modern Witch Tarot deck along with the Kipper deck. So let's see. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Message for Taurus. 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 Okay. Despair. Wow. And then even on the back of the deck, message of concern. So let's see what let's see what does the booklet say about number 32. I love using the booklet with this Kipper deck because it's just fun to read and it gives a lot more insight. Okay, number 32, despair. This is a challenging card. Okay. That's the first thing that it says. This card, let me see. Um here we meet a man in the shabby clothes, a member of the working poor, distraught from unemployment, reduced to letting a tear slip in the street, literally grieving or weeping. It can also be severe stress, leading to emotional exhaustion, serious concussions, fevers, and migraines. This card is also commonly used for jealousy. Wow. Unfortunately, this is not a very promising card. Wow. Okay. Um, despair brings grief, adversity, and obstacles, all right? Let's see what's going on here. All is well, Taurus. All is well. Let's see what's going on here, though. Clarify number 32, despair. Look at this. You have the six of wands, victory, accomplishments, and recognition. Clarify number 32, despair. Clarify number 32, despair. Clarify number 32. Clarify number 32. Despair. You have the devil. Clarify number 32. Okay. You have the will of fortune. Hmm. Clarify the six of wands. So the six of wands, this is victory. Sometimes it could even represent fame. But it's victory, it's accomplishments and recognition. Clarify the Six of Wands. The Eight of Cups. The only negative thing I see about the Six of Wands when it is represented negatively, maybe it's someone who's trying, like an obnoxious person who's trying to like overpower you, you know? Um, the Seven of Swords. And I sort of feel like maybe that's what it is. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Page of Wands. There is shame here. Um, there is shame. The Holy Spirit just told me shame. Shame. It's almost like... Holy Spirit, please bring me clarity. I, I'm getting it. I just want to get more clarity. More confirmation, too. What is this what I'm saying? Please bring me more clarity and confirmation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Four of Pentacles. Huh. Clarify this Four of Pentacles. I see shame, I see humiliation for someone who I feel was like, there's some sort of plan here that they were so confident would be successful, but it has landed them into shame, a pit of shame. I feel like someone was trying to shamelessly do something bad or wrong. Hmm. 
the way I see this Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is walking away, moving on, going elsewhere, going, you know, it's, it's almost a situation where <laughs> you had a, it's almost like you had a, a silent fight with someone. And the reason why I say a silent fight is because you may not even know this person or you may not even know what they were doing against you. They were doing something to you shamelessly is what I keep on hearing. It's almost like I hear people telling this person, really, really, you would do something like that? Like you have no shame. And they feel embarrassed. But the reason why they feel embarrassed is because people found out. Clarify this Eight of Cups here. The Ten of Pentacles. Yes, it's like somebody has to walk away with shame from something really good. The way I see this Ten of, Ten of Pentacles is a life of success and rewards. You have great security, great stability. Ten of Pentacles, that's like lump sums of money marry into a wealthy family, generational wealth, business empires. Like someone is having to walk away from something really good that they were once a part of because they were trying to shamelessly do something to another individual. So now they have been outcasted. Boom. Thank you, spirit. Look at the six of wands. It's a team of people. There are several people pushing out someone like telling someone get out of here you're not welcomed here you don't have a you don't have a space here you don't have a room here because of what we found out you were doing to someone it's almost like i see one person who is the victor this person who's on the horse and they have a team of people they have a team of people who are encouraging them defending them and fighting for them fighting with them not against them this is a team of people supporting this individual who's on the horse whatever the enemy was trying to plot against you it has failed and if it's a situation where the enemy was trying to get people to go against you, because everyone's situation is different, so take it how it resonates, Taurus. If it's a situation where they were trying to get people to go against you, if anything, they brought you an audience of supporters who are now defending you and protecting you from them. It backfired. The plan backfired. If it's a situation where this person was manipulating people to go against you, to assist them in going against you, it backfired. Those people are now supporters of you and are protecting you from that enemy. And that enemy is having to walk away with a lot of shame. I feel like they, they were a part of some sort of ten of pentacles, some sort of I don't know if this is like money, a business empire. So it's something with a lot of wealth, a lot of security and stability, lots of success. They had something good, but because of what they tried to do to you, they no longer have a, have a position. They no longer have a role in this 10 of pentacles. They have to walk away. Eight out of 10 cups. So they were in this 10 of pentacles, this good life for a long time. It's eight out of 10 cups. They made a lot of investments. Now they're being rejected. Now they're being pushed out because of what they tried to do to someone. Everything is fine. All is well, Taurus. The devil missed you. The devil was targeting you, but he missed you. The seven of swords. The seven of swords is someone who has ulterior motives. Someone who's trying to steal, destroy, lie, cheat to win, 
you know, withholding important information, someone who lacks honesty and integrity. A very conniving person. That is who the Seven of Swords is, a very conniving person. You're about to receive good news with the Page of Wands. You're about to receive good news. The Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups came out when I asked for more clarity on this. The Four of Pentacles is security, especially financial security. You're good. This person, this thief was not able to, to rob you of something or sabotage you from something. You're good. You have all your pentacles. The Six of Cups is here. Six of Cups is all about a return. Maybe something from the past is coming back. Hmm. Clarify the devil. Let's look at this devil card. Clarify the devil. The devil represents strong desires, obsessions, control issues, toxicity. The devil is a negative influencer. You have the Knight of Wands. You have the Queen of Wands. You have the King of Pentacles. Clarify the devil. You have the Empress, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Empress. The Knight of Wands represents a passionate pursuer, someone who's on a passionate pursuit, someone who's determined, maybe someone who's like fleeing from somewhere and headed towards someone or some place. But it's a passionate go-getter. Knight of Wands could be a lover that's fleeing, a person that's that's um migrating or immigrating should i say relocating the knight of wands is a hasty a hasty pace the queen of swords the queen of swords is someone who is very clever very savvy and extremely discerning you also have the king of pentacles here King of Pentacles is someone who's very well off, very successful, very grounded, and has made a good life for themselves. The King of Pentacles is also very loyal and committed. And the Empress is someone who is extremely abundant, creative, artistic, very wise, blessed with fer fertility, Something is going on here with the devil. Tell us more. What is this that I'm seeing with the devil? It's like someone got caught. That's what Spirit is telling me. Someone got caught. Like someone got caught red-handed. Clarify the devil. The Seven of Pentacles. It's like a plan that someone was working towards. And then they got caught. The Seven of Pentacles is uh, someone who's very committed, very persistent. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. But look, yeah, the Five of Cups is regrets, crying over spilled milk. They're regretful here because whatever, it's almost like someone who was really, really persistent about something until they got caught. They were planning, they were sowing seeds, so they were planning, they had, you know, they had some sort of goal here. Clarify the devil. Or clarify the knight of wands. You see, five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is... Someone who feels abandoned, left out in the cold. Clear for the Knight of Wands. Two 
two of swords. Yeah, this is them. I feel like this person was like planning something and they were in action to do it. And then they got caught. That's why now they're in this five of pentacles here, feeling lonely and abandoned. Maybe even, you know, feeling in despair. You have the two of swords. This person's stuck in their head. They're conflicted. They're indecisive. <laughs> this person was a king of wands. They were definitely planning something. They were, they were very determined about something, almost to the point where maybe they were even willing to put up a fight. Hmm. Clarify this Knight of Wands. What was this person doing? They were in action. They were in action about something. Then they got caught. The Seven of Cups. <sighs> Decision making. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, they were planning. They were planning to do something and then they got caught. The Seven of Cups is being in your head, weighing your options. Tell us more about what they were doing. This person got like caught. <laughs> That's just what I keep on hearing. The hermit, the sun, and the chariot. The three of cups. Three of cups talks about social gatherings, celebrations. The sun. Happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, and a chariot. I get a very competitive energy about this person. Let me see, two of wands. I get a very competitive energy from them. Maybe even jealous, two of wands, carrying out a plan, trying to get a sense of direction. Like, 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 like I get someone who was trying to be 10 steps ahead to plan something, then they got caught in the act of doing it. Oof, this person is a mess. Yeah, they were trying to be 10 steps ahead to plan something against another individual, but then they got caught. It's almost like, it's just hmm. two of pentacles. Clarify two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is all about balance and stability or juggling two things. Queen of wands, you see? There's a queen of wands involved here. Tell us more. Three of wands. Yeah, like someone was... <sighs> this is what I'm getting. Someone was aware of a future plan. Someone knew that something was about to happen. And they tried to be sneaky and block it from happening. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna make I'm gonna do it as a work example, but it could be love, work, friendship, family, anything. But I'm gonna do it from a work perspective. Where let's say there is a colleague, right? Who finds out, oh, we're about to get a new employee. Okay. Two months from now, we're going to get a new employee. And maybe this colleague is very intimidated or competitive. And so this colleague finds information about this new employee, right? This, this, this colleague knows within two months, this new employee is going to be working with them. So this colleague is like, how can I block that from happening? Maybe let me go and scoop information on this new employee that's coming in. Let me go and find out who they are and see what tricks I can put, what obstacles I could put in. That's what I'm seeing here. But then as they were digging behind this new employee, they got caught. So maybe another employee is like, wait a second, how do you know so-and-so? Wait a second, how do you know so-and-so how do you know so-and-so is about to be working here within two months? How did you find that out? How do you know their name? How do you know their address? How do you know who they are? They got caught in the act of trying to block something good from happening to someone. And I see a lot of scooping and, and researching.
or let's say for example a toxic ex when it comes to love what example can i put when it comes to love let's say a toxic ex finds out that the person who they're obsessed with um is interested in someone so that toxic ex digs up about that someone about that person and and tries to kind of you know pull pull some tricks up their sleeves to block that new person from being with you know their ex that's the kind of energy i'm getting a lot of like scooping and spying here yeah it's almost like someone's like let me see what i can find on this person to sabotage this plan from following through the ten of swords and the nine of cups the ten of swords is a betrayal it's a backstab but then the nine of cups is success and fulfillment so someone was trying to sabotage another person like someone was trying to get success and satisfaction but at the expense of another person this is selfish this is selfishness here stabbing someone in the back betraying someone to get success and fulfillment like like i see someone here trying to trying to end something prematurely for another person they knew what was coming in someone knew what was coming in and they tried to be sneaky and block it so it's almost like they knew the future plans they knew the future plans of another person or of someone and they tried to end it prematurely Clarify the Queen of Swords. So when we clarify the Queen of Swords, that was what? The Queen of Wands, the Three of Wands that came out? No. We clarify the Two of Pentacles, sorry. We clarify the Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands. Yeah, someone was trying to cause some sort of instability here for a Queen of Wands. But the, the Two of Pentacles, is is it is stability. So it didn't work. It was not successful at all. This person was still balanced. Even if things got, you know, uncomfortable, they were still grounded. This person is a queen of wands. Queen of wands is a warrior. Queen of wands is very ambitious too. This is a go-getter. They didn't give up. The three of wands, they continue to have faith. The three of wands is waiting for your ships to sail in. They knew, okay, maybe it's taking long for this thing to come in, for this opportunity to come in, or for this blessing to come in, or for this person to come in, you know, for this news to come in, whatever it was, they, they still had faith. They didn't give up waiting. And I'm glad they didn't because it seems like that's what this enemy wanted. Yeah, it's like it's like an enemy finding out a future plan and then trying to cause a premature death, a premature ending of that uh, uh, future plan. Clarify the Queen of Swords. That's why sometimes it's, it's many times it's important to keep certain plans hidden until keep certain plans, certain goals hidden until you have accomplished the goal. Then you can share it with people. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. The Tower. The Ace of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, there's a Queen of Swords here, male or female. Know that these are energies. There's a Queen of Swords here who, who caught this person, male or female. Queen of Swords is very intelligent, very savvy. Um and extremely discerning very logical as well there's a queen of swords who caught this because look the tower they found out something with the tower a big shocking reveal here
and let me see ace of cups and the nine of wands ace of cups this brand new beginning this divine blessing of a new beginning new love new job you know new offers new friendships new locations, right? New new and better finances or something. The Ace of Cups is all about the new. And it's something that's extremely emotionally fulfilling. But then you have the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands represents um, a wounded warrior, someone who has really been been through a lot. They've been challenged. I feel like, who is this Knight of Wands? I, I kind of feel like the Knight of Wands is the person who this enemy was trying to sabotage or, or go against. Who is this Knight of Wands? The Temperance. It is. Who is this Knight of Wands? Yeah, it is. It is. When this Queen of Swords, male or female, found out, I almost feel like they took action immediately to stop this enemy here from being successful with their plan. Um, wow. And maybe this Queen of Swords even started to get a little bit protective of this person after finding out what was being done to them. This person is a wounded warrior. This person has been through a lot. They are the temperance and the six of swords, but I feel like they've done a lot of healing. This is a very gracious person. That's just what I heard from spirit. They're very gracious. When I looked at the temperance, you know, this is someone who likes to keep the peace and they forgive and they like harmony, right? And this is someone who really tries their best to stay in alignment with their higher self. So this may be the kind of person where they don't really like to, you know, hold on to conflict or resentment for peace. The Six of Swords, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Yeah. This is a very gracious person. Um... Let's look at the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles represents... Look at this. King of Pentacles, we already talked about it. This is someone who's very well off. Three of Pentacles is here. A work collaboration. Nine of Pentacles. The plan really did backfire because I feel like what's for you will always be for you. I almost feel like you're the one who's going to be a King of Pentacles. Maybe you're even going to get some sort of offer or because I see a work or some sort of working together collaboration going on here. And it's second, this is a third pentacle, king of pentacles, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. It's going to bring a lot of money. My goodness. Lots of money. You're going to feel very well accomplished. Clarify the, for the knight of pentacles again. The knight of pentacles is someone who's very hardworking. Very patient as well. And they always make sure to finish what they started. The Empress. Clarify the Empress. I feel like this is the person who someone tried to work against or sabotage. Clarify the Empress. The High Priestess in the reverse. Interesting. Clarify the Empress. The Hierophant. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Mm. There's an Empress here. 
What is this Empress? It could be another energy. Like I said, the Empress is typically, Ten of Swords came out. The Empress is typically someone who is very motherly, nurturing, creative, artistic, very abundant, or could simply represent a mature woman, a mother, Page of Cups. Hmm. There's another person here. I sort of feel like this other person, there's an older woman or a mature woman here who I feel was also trying to work against um, this person, this innocent person here. Maybe they are older or maybe they are a mother. Excuse me. But they're showing up as the high priestess in the reverse. And when you come out, when someone comes out as, as the high priestess in the reverse, it represents someone whose intuition is blocked, someone who is not wise or discerning. So I feel like there's an older, there's a mature woman here who may have been working against you as well. Um, I don't know if they had partner, partnered up with, with the first person who was working against you. Or these are two people with separate, separate, you know, agendas against you. But there's an empress, and it's so interesting because the empress is known to be very loving and very kind and nurturing, but their intuition was blocked. Maybe it was blocked by jealousy, malice, bitterness, but they were stepping out of character. They were stepping out of character here. They they couldn't see things clearly or correctly. And maybe they were even jumping to conclusions, misjudging, you know, this other person here, this innocent person here. That's why there are the high priestess in the reverse. This empress is the Hierophant. Maybe this is someone who's very influential and powerful, traditional, very conventional. The Ten of Wands. This is someone who doesn't like change. Spirit just told me they acted this way towards this innocent person. They try to go against this innocent person because they don't like change. They felt very overwhelmed by a change that was going to take place. So they tried to sabotage this innocent person as well. Three of Swords, heartbreak and disappointment. I do feel like this person feels bad. I kind of feel like they've stepped, they've snapped back into their senses, you know, and they're like, what was I thinking? That was so out of character of me. If it's a situation where you're going to be new to a certain place, maybe you're the new, the new girl, the new guy, maybe you're, you know, marrying into a family, into a wealthy family, or you're about to work somewhere and you're the new person, or You've moved somewhere, you're the new person. There's an empress here, a mature woman who doesn't like new. So it's almost like, oh, let's, let's bully the new guy, let's bully the new girl or something. That's It's just a very immature energy, but that's not their usual character. I just feel like they're, they weren't seeing things clearly. They weren't acting like themselves because of, I don't know, that like stress, burdens, they were overwhelmed, you know? Um, three of Swords, I feel like they feel really bad about what they did. And this person is a Page of Cups, an admirer. Five of Swords, they've, they've left this behind. If they were working against you, they've surrendered that. And they're no longer doing that. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, again, the Five of Swords... Again, the Five of Swords came out. Okay. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like a situation where people knew about you ahead of time before you could even know them. And, and maybe they were trying to sabotage something here for you. Um, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. But trust and believe what's for you will always be for you. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune literally represents something that is fated and destined to happen. 
So don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Nine of Swords, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Wands. The Nine of Swords. There was a lot of jealousy here too. These people were jealous of you because I feel like whoever is whoever is like bringing you in, like let's say this is a love interest who is, you know, about to introduce you to their family. Maybe their family, you know, is jealous of you. Maybe their mother is jealous of you. You know, that mature woman could have been someone's mother who just doesn't like for her son to, you know, like another woman, you know, more than her or something like one of those clingy moms. You know, if it's a work situation, maybe the other co-workers heard the boss talk about you so highly and they got jealous. If it's a work situation, you know, whether it's a love situation, a work situation, a friendship situation, a business situation, it's like you were highly, you, you're highly, you're highly liked, you're highly favored. And there were other people who noticed and they got jealous because they saw the special things that someone was doing to prepare for you is what Spirit is saying, right? So maybe it was your lover who was doing special things to, to prepare for you, to make you feel comfortable when introducing you to his family and his family was like, oh, why are you doing all those special things for her or him, you know? Um, if it's a work situation, maybe the other coworkers or colleagues were like, oh, wow, we've never, you know, our boss never did this for us. You know, we see him or her doing this for this new person. It gets them jealous. It's like you were, it's like special, you get special treatment. And I feel like it's because you are very lovable. And this is your blessing here. And other people, you know, they got jealous, right? Haters are going to hate. Just got to keep on being fabulous. Um, but the wheel of fortune, it represents something that's fated and destined to happen. Don't worry about this. Trust me. God has this under control. The enemy will always try to do things, silly things, but they will never win. As long as you have God by your side, the nine of swords, no need to be having sleepless nights over this or stressing out, you know, having these like tormenting thoughts about, Oh, what if this happened? What if that happened? Just leave it alone and continue to have faith. Okay. Um, and be prayerful as well. You have the hermit card that's here. The hermit talks about healing and recovering. Oh, Spirit just said, have faith. Have faith as you wait. Because I feel like you're, you're waiting for something to come in and it will. Be patient and have faith. Rest in the meantime as you wait for this thing. Let's just say this blessing to come in. It will be delivered to you because God selected you for this blessing and no one can change that no one can take away that you have the um have patient and have faith or be patient and have faith uh the pay the four of wands this is redemption celebrations happy homes commitments marriage partnerships you're going to be right where you belong and no one can stop that Doors are open. Doors are going to be opening for you. Opportunities are going to be offered to you and no one can stop that. You will be right where you need to be. Wow. Anything else before we end this reading? Stay strong. Strength talks about overcoming difficulties, being brave and courageous and just wait for that opportunity to arise because you're going to take it. The Knight of Swords seizes opportunities so i'm going to end the reading here thank you so much taurus thank you for tuning in i hope this message helps you i hope it resonated with you as always i do encourage you to go into prayer and meditation to receive uh divine guidance and clarity and confirmation from the most high um thank you guys so very much taurus please take care don't forget to like comment and subscribe to support the channel